All right, you've heard of the Grinch that stole Christmas, but what about stealing Halloween? A man in the university district is looking for the people who he says took not only his decorations, but the joy out of the holiday. A message posted on his porch, now circulating social media. NBC 4's Anna Hoffman spoke with that man, and she's live with the story. Anna. Jennifer and Jared, David Hill says he's been hit five separate times by decoration thieves. He says they've already taken away the joy he normally has around the holiday, and now he wants that message to be heard. This is what David Hill's house usually looks like around Halloween. I've lived here for like 42 years, and we've always been really big on decorations. Christmas was first with the wife and then Halloween. But now it looks like this. It's sad. It's just, it just no sense in it. He says he and his wife collected decor over the years. After his wife died in May, Hill says he decided he wanted to go big on his display this year. It's a lot. It takes me three to four days to set everything up. Hill says the display had been out for just a few days when he noticed something was off. Probably went across, get pizza, came back and said, something's missing. And then just went back through the ring cameras and saw, oh, there, there they are. Hill says it happened again. Then some young kid in a hoodie actually walked up onto the porch right in front of the ring camera, the, the, the doorbell right there. And he just went down through the line like he was shopping at Target. Feeling frustrated, he decided to save the decorations he had left and replace them with these signs. They read, thanks for ruining Halloween and no candy. My neighbor's stealing my decorations. Everybody seemed to stop and say, come up there and say, what happened? Uh, this and empty kind of explains it. Every morning, I, I know it's stupid, from the, with the, Candy sign, you can't see too much out of the yard, so I come up here and look out here and see if anything maybe came back after all this. But nah, it's not going to happen. So they ruined Halloween. They ruined Halloween. They ruined Halloween. Hill says this year he's not planning on putting his display back up. He's also not planning on putting a Christmas display up this year. Instead, he says that sign will stay right where it is and hopes that someone learns a lesson. Local for you in the University District, I'm Anna Hoffman, NBC4.